Good afternoon and welcome to After School Snack Time. We are so glad you can join us today. Hello friends and welcome to After School Snack Time. I am so glad you're here today. Today we have something special planned, but I figure it's time, it's good to say hello first. I am Ms. Parker. I'm the Financial Education and Community Outreach Ambassador for the Credit Union. And right here, I also have Ms. Rosalina. We are so happy to be with you today. And today is a special day. Do any of you know what's special about today? I've heard some really great things, and I think I've heard a few say that today is Veterans Day. You are right, which is why I'm wearing my red sweater and a blue and a white shirt for the red, white, and blue, our country. Today, we are celebrating those who have served and are serving in the armed forces, and we are giving thanks for their sacrifice. So we have a special snack plan today that I wonder if maybe any of our servicemen and women have ever tasted when they have been stationed overseas. Are you ready for snack? All right, if this is your first time joining us for snack time, you may not know this, but you should bring a snack with you or come and get an idea about a healthy and nutritious snack that you could have. Each week I share another snack that we can try and we also have a great story. So whether this is your first time, second time, you don't even know how many times we are glad you're here. So let's head on over to the snack time table. And if you have your snack, go ahead and get it out. Today, we're going to try something called rambutan. Can you say that? Rambutan. This is a fruit from Southeast Asia. And for those of you living here in the Richmond area, you can buy this right now. I personally have had this, but I have some friends here in the kitchen. One has had it, but they don't remember having it. And somebody else who has not tried it. So they're going to try it just like you. But it is really delicious. And if you give me one moment, I'm going to stop sharing. Actually, it's going to be hard if I stop sharing my screen. So we're just going to keep going. I'm gonna hold, my, hold this up close to the camera for you. But if you see here on the screen, you can kind of see that it's prickly. I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer for you to see. Do you see this? It's kind of roundish oval and it looks kind of spiky, right? You might think that it would hurt, but not really. It's kind of soft. It's not prickly like a cactus. But when you cut it open, and I have one that I've already cut open to make it easier, you'll see that it's white on the inside. So it's all prickly on this part and then it's white. Now I'm gonna slice it so you can see the very, very middle part. Right in the middle is a seed. Now you don't wanna eat the seed. Can you see, can you see that? Might be a little bit hard. Let me peel a little bit more for you. The seed is almost the same color as the rambutan. Do you see that? There's this little seed in the middle. So you don't want to eat the seed. Right, no seeds. Seeds are a bad idea. But when I eat it, I don't normally cut this up with a knife. You might want to ask a grown up to help you because for a little mouth, it might be a little big. But when I eat this, I just bite it. And I can bite it enough to pull it open and then eat the fruit out of the inside. Mm. It's so delicious. It's just sweet and juicy. Mm -hmm. mm. One friend says they think it's a little bit sour. I don't really think it's sour. I just think it's sweet and juicy. And I always look forward to them being in season because they're such a yummy little treat. Now, sometimes your standard grocery stores may have these, but not every grocery store does. So sometimes you have to go to the Asian markets to get them. And that's where I got these. There's an Asian market called 
New Grand Mart, not far from the credit union. And that's where I went to get this. And they had a whole little bin full and you could put as many as you wanted in a bag. Mm, they're just so yummy. I hope you'll give some a try. But one of the neat things about our veterans is that sometimes they get to travel all over the world. And when they do this, they can try new and different foods. And for some, if they've ever been in Southeast Asia, they just might get to try mm, some sweet and juicy rambutan. All right, now that we have our snack, I think it's time for our story. Are you ready for book? Let's head on over to the Storytime Couch. Today, we have a special book saved and it's called H is for Honor. Are you ready, friends? H is for Honor, a military family alphabet. An a, give me an A for Army and an A for Air Force Two. An A for all the armed forces behind the red, white, and blue. They stand at attention, tall and proud, all impeccably dressed. An A for the American Armed Forces, an A for the world's very best. No offense, but the letter B means that you're a brat. Your brother and your sister too, and there's nothing wrong with that. Military kids are known as brats, but far from wild or bad. They serve their country in their own way, just like their mom and dad. Any Marine will tell you the letter C could stand for core. It takes courage and character. It takes commitment and more. From Camp Lejeune to Pendleton, the Marine Corps stands by, ready to go wherever they're called, true to Semper Fi. Don't you dare dally and don't be late. Stand at attention, ramrod straight. D is for drill sergeant, making things rough. You'll thank him someday for being so tough. The Navy SEALs, the Green Berets, the Army Rangers, of course, special tactics, MEUs, and the daring Delta Force. E is for elite force. They're trained with extra care. They know too well when duty calls, danger may be there. Behind each sailor, so, behind each soldier, somebody somewhere cares. Behind each airman and Marine, someone is saying their prayers. Wherever Americans fight for freedom, they very quickly learn F's for families, first and foremost, who wait for their return. G is just a game. It's just a game, you say? Those in the Army and Navy don't quite see it that way. The Army-Navy football game is a November celebration of the honor and spirit of those who chose to serve their mighty nation. Not everyone hears it, it's just a few, but there's no denying it once you do. When your country calls, you do your part, so H is for honor in the American heart. You're visiting HQ to see the CO and you're surrounded by several officials. You're also surrounded by many letters and that's why I's for initials. R and R, T D Y, a night at the BOQ. And when you're hungry, it's good to know an MRE will do. The letter J is just the thing to get from here to there Here's one racing down the road, and there's one up there. Jeeps and jets take different routes, but both of them help prove the military can't keep still. It's always on the move. Pucker up for letter K for a kiss of fabulous flair. Captured in a famous photo on a corner of Times Square. A happy sailor and a happy gal had learned the war was done. Their sweeping kiss captured the joy when World War II was won. 
Miles from home, too hot or too cold, lonely for months on end. L arrives in a big green sack. It's letters that you send. The leaves are turning, the farm is fine, the puppy keeps chasing his tail. There's nothing better than getting a letter from home in the big bag of mail. The letter M means military police, better known as MPs. When you live on post or military base, you'll need a few of these. They guard the base and keep the place as secure as it can be. When you arrive at the entrance gate, MPs are the first you see. Up in the air in a fighter jet or deep, down deep in a submarine, above the ocean, beneath the sea, and everywhere in between, we're riding the tide, deep blue and green, constantly churning and wavy. On ships very small and impossibly large, our N is for Navy. Military families tend to move across nations, states, and borders. The letter O means pack your bags for you just got your orders. Two years here, three years there, your family's on the go. Your orders mean a brand new part of the world for you to know. Our letter P will make you proud and cause a little commotion. Here's a hug and a handshake too, for P is for promotion. Move along one rank to take the next drive and takes drive and dedication. So each and every promotion is a cause for celebration. If someone asks about your quarters, I know it may sound funny, but they'd like to know about your house and not about your money. Q is for quarters, which means your house, perhaps on government land. Uncle Sam provides you with quarters, but they won't fit in your hand. Rise and shine for the letter R each and every day. R's the sound of reveille, heard from miles away. We raise the flag as a bugler plays with the rising of the sun. He'll play a retreat to lower the flag later when the day is done. Sometimes the job is far away. Sometimes it's for so long. Sometimes a war is being fought and we're asked to be so strong. S stands for sacrifice and the special American way of doing what's right for freedom's light to shine on the USA. Whether on Coast Guard ship or in an Air Force jet or an Army tank or Navy sub, you can certainly bet th that you'll see people work together, busy as can be. I think you'll find that teamwork suits us to a T. From army green to desert brown, from white to navy blue, our U stands for uniform, graceful, proud, and true. From a Marine's dress blues to a soldier's fatigues, on this we can agree. The uniform of the USA is a symbol of being free. V reminds us of all those who marched these paths before Veterans are bound by the gift of service through times of peace and war. Old and young faces saluting the flag that waves in the sky above. All were willing to give their lives for the country that they love. For many years, if you saw a soldier, you were looking at a he. But times have changed and now that soldier might just be a she. So W is for women defending our nation and lives. They're all American mothers, sisters, daughters, and wives. The letter X stands for exchange, which is where you'll want to stop. When you live on base or live on post, you'll need a place to shop. An exchange is a kind of department store with goods from near and far. It's a PX to some, a BX to others, depending on where you are. 
Why is the reason they do the things they do? They put their lives on the line and they do it all for you. For you to live a life that's free and a nation proud and strong, be glad that there are those who go to work taking your dreams along. Z can stand for Zulu, but as odd as it may sound, Zulu sometimes stands for Z. It's the other way around. Zulu for Z, Alpha for A, and Oscar for the letter O. The military uses some special words to talk on the radio. The end. What did you think of that book, friends? Did you learn something new about our armed forces and military? I'm hearing some yeses. I think I have some friends that learned something new and I'm delighted. I'm delighted you have learned something new. So I have a question for you. How many of you have friends or perhaps family members that are serving in our military or have served in our military? Oh, I'm hearing a lot of people share that they have somebody. I'm also hearing some friends say that they don't. And you know what? That's okay. Not everyone has someone in their family that's a veteran. Or maybe you just don't know. So it might be good to ask the grown-ups in your family, who is a veteran in your family? My oldest daughter asked me recently how many people in our family had served in the military. And she could not believe just how many had served to keep our country safe. I hope you'll be presently surprised by the people in your family and your history that have helped to keep our country safe. So wherever you are today and whatever you're doing, I hope you'll take a moment to give thanks for the veterans who have kept our country safe and all of those who continue to do that. We are so thankful. All right, I have one more thing to cover with you all. Are you ready? You ready? Have you voted for class president? I'm, I hear some yeses and I hear some noes. Oh, friends, I'm gonna share with you the vote totals. You ready? Right now, Cash has nine votes for Savings Academy class president and Penny has 11 votes. Your votes matter. If you haven't voted, we need you to vote and you have until next Tuesday to get your votes in. So I hope you'll do that soon. All right, so don't forget to get your votes in. You can put them in the comments. You could send us an email. You can come into a branch and let us know but we hope you will be a part of voting for Savings Academy class president. Will it be cash? Will it be penny? The race is so close now, we cannot wait to find out who you think should win. Remember, living in the United States, voting is important and every vote matters. And in this case, you don't have to wait till you're 18, you can vote right now. There's one last thing to share before we go as I drop it. Have you printed out your savings, your thankful turkey yet? We have these on our website that you can print out yourself. And on each feather, if you haven't been doing it, you can catch up, that's fine. But on each feather, you can write something you're thankful for on the back. And you can just watch as your turkey gets fuller and fuller with feathers and filled with so much gratitude. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining us for story time today. I hope you'll be back with us next Wednesday. And last I heard from Miss Rusalina, she has picked out a quite delicious story. 
So I wonder if you can guess what that might be or be about. I hope you'll join us here next week. Don't forget to eat something nutritious and delicious and to bring a snack with you and we'll share something tasty for you to try next week too. Bye friends. <laughs>